my project is called the freezer. So I came up with the idea of getting this freezer after looking to certain conditions in our community. So I thought of what would it be like without an, ele an electronic freezer? And what, how can I make one of a kind? I immediately came up with this freezer to simplify life. In this, you can solve problems like being in rural areas where there aren't electricity to use the electronic freezers. So you can probably make this one. Uh, the main reagent is water. Yeah. The water inside, I have a reservoir in it. This reservoir, I use it, I use rugs. They keep on linking the water from the reservoir to the charcoal. The charcoal maintains the water and it also keeps it and releases, emits the coldness in the, in the water to the food, nutri food stuff. These rugs have been used by the community poorly in that they just use them as mopars. At times they just throw them to the dustbin, they burn them, which is not a good thing. So I thought of it better if I use the rugs they are, they are recycled, not just being thrown out to, in, for no good reason. Yeah. So my rugs here, they could bring the water, they put it to charcoal, whereby the charcoal is also hygroscopic and then it keeps the water. Most people, at times, they use the bamboo for caning children, students, peoples, and then the, that's the only reason they think, because it lasts long, very strong, but the bamboo can also be put to other use which is much better to just caning and punching someone. So that's why I used it to strengthen my frame. It gives it more support. Though the items inside are kind of heavy, the charcoal would push it, so on. So the bamboo is for additional support. This item, it lasts for long. Reason being, the item is used here. For example, it's like furniture in classes. In school, you find that the furniture was used from the late judge of yours and it's still there. And so the same goes to our freezer here. This bamboo, bamboo is one of the most long lasting wood from our sources. The only thing you need to put there is water. Yet water is a natural resource. It's from anywhere, both in the ground, in seas, everywhere. Water is everywhere, even rain. This charcoal, I got it from these remains from firewood. But I went and collected that charcoal and put it into reuse, which is good. And not every person can afford getting gas cylinders which are used nowadays for the freezers and so on. You know, most people take to free, uh, freezers hmm, to be electronic freezers. And they think to get a freezer, you cannot just get it from by having money. You have to work hard, you get some huge amount, 400,000, all that. To also solve the problem of uh, time consuming, it's easy to be, to be made compared to go out to towns, look for a good refrigerator, or they give you a duplicate. Just make a simple one for you, like most ones. Yeah, different communities have different sources. So one who is not able to get the electronic or electricity, then we can use other method, which I, did, I thought of be my freezer. People don't need to throw away the ready having food. They just keep the food in the freezer and you preserve it for the next day so that you, you become conservative. You try to keep what's yours, not lose it anyhow. You can make this freezer keeps our food safe. Now throwing away food like gonja because you've had enough, you feel you're way too satisfied. You just keep it in the freezer, you can use it the next day. And also keeps the food free from uh, bacteria, uh, free from cockroaches, sort of, and other, other items, other creatures that would de probably spoil your food. It's portable, as you all see very well. It's very portable indeed, that you just wrap it and you can move it with you anywhere. For example, people work in the farms, and then you, know, you have your fruits that you need to take. You don't want that fruit to get bad. And you have to spend there some good time. You just make your freezer, you go with it, and life is simplified. Cold things, they're not really as bad as they say. It determines which coldness you use that item. So this freeze of mine, 
if you use our temperature here, it's minimally cold, okay, relatively cold. It's not too cold and less cold. It's relatively cold, and you could feel it if you try it out your places out there. You will really see the, ch the change. The soda tastes really good when you cool, cold it than when you just put it there and it's, it's, the coolness goes away. It's take it hot, you feel like ah, it's not taking away your thirst. But when it's cool, you really feel it good. <laughs>